Black Hawk, Colorado, uh, 30 minutes from Denver at the Beyond the Music Retreat. Can't wait to catch up and see everybody. Look at my Java walkies, Beanie. <laughs> We did it, huh? Yay! All right. What's up? My name is Vice. Hi, Vice. So, welcome to each and every one of you to the first Beyond the Music Retreat. Woo! That's right. Yeah! First one ever. Before we get started, I want to thank the whole DJ City family that's out here. Amazing thing to see the support and the DJ community come together like this. Conferences, DJ conferences, music conferences in the past. Uh, 20 years of my career with like a missing piece to the puzzle. I always felt that these conferences focused on the artists and not the DJs. And there was a room filled with DJs, but it was never focused on the DJs. It was always focused on just the music artists that was sitting up here. And I left lacking that, that blueprint or any knowledge to help out my own career. Today ahead of us, we have an amazing day of curated, definitely qualified panelists to discuss so many topics that will help inspire, educate, and create conversation on major foundational topics of a DJ's career. I want you guys to like walk away from this, like actually start thinking about the time that you're putting into tagging things, doing relevant hashtags, not just any hashtags. Spark conversations, meaningful ones at that, um, because we know that when people comment, when you're harvesting those communities, that you know you're beating the algorithm in that way. Content is queen. You want high quality, it's gotta be pretty. You want to feed it often, so feed your audiences often. You don't want them getting hangry. And um, there's definitely DJs who are great who don't cut. Uh, I think maybe for us and for our sort of shared tradition of DJing, it's really cool to try to perfect that balance of being able to be like a, a really versatile um, DJ who knows how to rock any kinds of crowd and who figures out ways to DJ. So right from the start, I, I understood that I had to learn to do different kinds of sets. I'm grateful for that, that like, as young, scratch, whatever, baby, world champion thing that I was, there was like a lot of different pockets of people that were curious to see it, so I would get booked. People showed up much more, which before that they would do that all the time. So, um, just out of like responsibility, I just didn't want to disappoint them. And also, it was like a really cool challenge for me to just like step up in general and to have more fun DJ. But it's also like gave me like more encouragement to like be more creative and to play, to take more risks playing like things I would never hear ever. But that's really what it did. Like after winning that thing, it's like okay, people are like paying attention a little bit more. But at the same time, you know. Like we were saying earlier, like don't go too fucking ham on like doing weird shit or like go like going too technical. How cool is this indoor pool? This is definitely a winning streak, Charlie. And then when you go outside, you can see the beautiful mountains. And then the fire pit. Oh my god! It was just snow from the sky. Look at that! You gotta run that mountain. Breaking out of the bedroom panel, we've got our special guest, Yoni Goldberg. Um, <laughs> Pet Drum, Nies Mond, and DJ Echo. And we are here to tell you about breaking out of the bedroom. Uh, but give you perspective on, you know, from a DJ's perspective and Managers. I feel like it's time for me to build something where I can leverage these relationships. Because you gotta understand something. What we do, it's a platform. And with this platform, you know, if, you, if you're really doing it right, you are amassing incredible, incredible contacts. And, 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 and you, your network is your net worth, right? So if you're not doing anything with it, then why are you doing it? Well, you know what I mean? So that's what I said to myself. So that's what I did. I went and I said, okay, I'm gonna to put together, you know, a weekend uh, of events uh, 
for charity. And I started picking up the phone and calling my corporate contacts and calling the celebrities. And you know what? It was like, yes, yes, this is great. We got you. We're there for you. You have our support. And it was really amazing to get that kind of response. But then you have to deliver, right? You really have to deliver because companies are not in the business of just throwing money away. You know what I mean? So I had to create value. You know, I was lucky enough to you know, put together uh, a team of, of professionals that really, really knew uh, how to create that value. Put on our 15th year and we've raised uh, about 10 million uh, that's gone to charity over those 15 years. So if you think you're in a smaller market or you don't have the resources, step one, you gotta start. You gotta start. And if you have a smaller network, then you know, put on a smaller event and grow it. You know what I mean? But think about it. You guys are DJs. You guys are in the event business already. We really did because everyone in here invested in themselves to be here. They believe in themselves enough that I'm gonna go out to the middle of Colorado and Blackhawk and, and, and learn something new and get gems and, and come back home with some new tools to grow their own brand, their business and learn and props to each and every one of you for investing in yourself in this today. said DJ City and I really thought about this final moment in this retreat and we thought why not take you guys outside of, of our comfort zone because we're all we all are DJs and we, we've stepped outside of this comfort zone we're in this different world we're learning about health and wellness and mentoring and, and branding and marketing so I wanted to bring someone out that inspired me his transformation story from a millionaire music mogul to a Nike athlete changing other people's lives has gotten national media attention and continues to inspire others to make positive change. Charlie Rocky is on the cover of Brothers World magazines! Charlie's fans come from all walks of life and his story resonates beyond culture, touching all kinds of people from every background. Kendrick have a dream. Oh. 